I pledge to create opportunities for more girls to join university or college. I pledge to support 50 girls' education leaders and 50 girls' education NGOs. I pledge to lead gender in education discussions at my organization. I pledge to ensure that I finalize the making of the policy for having uh, female teachers in all uh, schools in Uganda. The Kidna Global Scholars Program is a visiting fellows program hosted at the Center for Universal Education at the Brookings Institution. The purpose of the program is twofold. The first is to generate locally driven policy solutions for girls' education in developing country contexts. And the second is to build a global network of local girls' education leaders. Programs like the Echidna Scholars means that we know who local leaders are. Otherwise, they're there in their community doing what matters to them most, but their skills and experiences don't leave that locality and have a broader impact. I couldn't think of anything else that would have made us uh, to make greater impact in our community than this program, because it was able to uh, give us um, the platform, the national platform, as well as the global platform for the work that we were doing at the grassroots level. It's very powerful. Getting into this program not only gave me the space and the forum uh, to be able to focus, but also to be able to write a policy which have had a very big impact in my country. This program exposed me to the people working in the girls' education space around the globe so uh, I could connect myself with the broader community and be a part of that alliance. It's about even connecting at a global level. So we've hosted um, a total of 28 scholars from 17 different countries since 2012. And um, these scholars are, um, come from a various uh, variety of backgrounds. They're academics, um, they're social entrepreneurs, they're civil servants. Because of their time at Brookings, they not only generate um, relevant policy solutions and um, innovative approaches and practice that impact the lives of girls around the world, they also become great leaders in girls' education. It can be a lonely thing if you're the one woman or man in your community who's passionate about girls' education. So bringing leaders together in networks, I think, makes it far more uh, sustainable for them. It's going to take that lonely edge away. And it also means their contribution can be enriched because they're learning from each other. I wanted to dig deeper into what are the main uh, barriers to women entering into the workplace. And I also realized that if, if we did the same thing over and over and over again, we're going to get the same results. So I had to look beyond the focus of, uh, of uh, Jordan. I had to look globally. It was quite, uh, to me, liberating to share um, our challenges and uh, come up with the uh, solutions, for example, around the financial sustainability as for, for local CSOs, that's what we are grappling with. Uh, so we're able to talk through uh, such kind of issues and uh, now we have solutions. I learned very important things. The, among those uh, is the importance of, um, of really doing evidence-based interventions. Institutions such as Brookings come up with research that actually influence policies. I think that was one of the memorable things that I had. So if you just empower one girl in my community, you, you are sure that you have empowered so many other girls because that girl will empower so many other girls as well. So, you know, having that global attention for the work that we do, that's amazing and it's all because of the connection that we had in this program. <laughs>